Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe News Quick Start Guide. And in today's video, we are going to be creating a dynamic menu in the header section of our website. So basically, this menu is going to allow the, you know, the user of the website to go from the home page, about page and the contact page. And it's all going to be linked up automatically for us. We don't need to add any code or anything like that. It's really, really great. So having said that, we're going to be going over using your master page to create the menu using the widget and then going over all the widget properties to get the menu you working exactly how you want to and then we're going to be creating a video separately going over how we can style it or you know adding pages manually and that kind of stuff so let's just go ahead and dive in and get started Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Making a dynamic menu could not be simpler in Adobe Muse. So one thing that I do want to go over, however, before we do go any further, is I want to let you guys know that you need to be building your header and your footer and all that kind of stuff in your A master page. So I've explained the A master page already. Basically, the A master page is something that's going to persist on all of your pages, and any changes you make to that page will sort of dynamically go over to all of your pages, whether that's home, about us, and contact. So having said that because we want the header to be on all of the pages and we want the header to look exactly the same we're going to be creating it inside of here so just go ahead and open up your a master page for now it should look a little bit blank at the moment just like it is now you haven't got any content in there you just got have got your header and your footer which is completely zero so I'm going to go ahead and zoom into my screen here just use the little mouse to do it or just press Control zero to you know get it the full screen so to create the menu it's quite simple so we're going to be using something called a widget there's a whole bunch of different widgets that we actually have available to us we're going to be going over a couple different widgets later on in this series but for now we're just going to work with a menu now from the menu section we've got two choices that we can work with we can create a horizontal menu that will go sort of left to right and just sort of add in the little buttons in between and then we've also got a vertical menu which will go starting from the top and go down to the button bottom and just sort of add them in there for you so I think we're just going to go ahead and work with a basic horizontal uh, menu for now just add it in just click and drag and you'll also have this little option screen shown up here as well so you've got a couple of options here that we can play around with so the top one is the menu type from here you can choose uh, a couple of different options we can have all pages which is going to include your top level ones like your home about us and contact it's also going to include sub pages as well if you have any and you've also got manual that's going to let you choose exactly what pages you want to be on there so i'm going to be covering a whole i'm going to be dedicating a whole video to the manual one but for now if you just want a simple header simple menu just go ahead and work with top uh, level pages so as for edit together basically this allows you to play around with sort of the scaling on things so rather than trying to explain it you know just off the top of my head I'm going to try and show you it exactly at the same time so if I go ahead and change that to uniform spacing what it's going to do is going to keep the same amount of spacing between each of these little icons regardless of the length of the text so you can see the length of the text gets bigger but the gap in between it's going to stay exactly the same Whereas if we go to uniform size, what it's going to do here is it's going to make all of the buttons the exact same size, but it's going to start to cut off things if it's a little bit too bigger. Personally, I prefer to work with uniform scaling uh, as it just works a little bit better. When you do go ahead and scale it just like this, you know, it has the right sort of spacing that we want. It's dynamic and it looks really nice. If you do whatever reason get shut out of the options menu, just go ahead and press this little plus icon up there. I'm not plus play icon up here and you'll get back into here. The other option you've got here is show left icon. You can define one, which is something we'll be going over later on the series, but you can see the icons just popping up to the left right here. Now it's not something that we're really going to be using in, you know, our website. So I'm just going to leave that turned off for now. And you've also got an option for show label at the bottom here. And that's pretty much just going to turn the text off and on. If you don't want the text, you can just turn it off. But for the most part, you're probably going to want to have that on there for the menu. And then the last, uh, the other, the last options we have are all for the sub menus, which we're not really going to worry about for now, as you know we don't really have any sub menus. So basically, what this option here is: show right icon and what you if you want you can have a right icon on the right hand side you can have it on all of them or you can have it on the sub menus only so if you sort of have like drop down options or you can just turn it off completely um, for now I'm just going to turn it off and just leave it at that and the last one we've got is you know parts positioning what that's going to do is it's essentially going to set the positioning of the text inside of the object for example if I was to go for vertical center aligned you're going to see it's going to be centered vertically uh, sort of at the top 
left aligned, it's going to move it over to the left and so on. Just play around with those to just sort of get the look and the feel that you want. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and work with center aligned. So it just chucks it right in the middle there horizontally. So that's going to be left to right in the center. And that's perfect. So I'm just going to leave that there. So we've got a little menu here and we can play around with it and we can place it wherever we want. Don't forget, as always, we can also scale it up, down, just sort of get it the right size that we're after. So you can say I can stretch this out a little bit. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to open up my Photoshop document for a header and we can actually begin styling it to get the sort of look and the feel that we are going for. So the styling it is really simple. Once again, you just select the object that you want to style and then up at the top here, you've got a couple of options. For example, you could go ahead and change the fill color on a specific button. Doing that is quite easily easy. You know, you just go ahead and choose it. Uh, choose the button that you want to change and then just set the fill color there and it'll do it quite nicely for you Once again, you can also change things like the text style and all of that kind of stuff I am going to be going over a dead I'm going to be dedicating a whole video to this kind of stuff So make sure you check that out later on I'm just waiting for my Photoshop document to load up with the website and we'll sort of try and make some basic changes To get this looking the way that we want if I do recall correctly though It was just a white background black text and I'm pretty sure that was it and then we've got like the Virtus logo in the top left there as well so I'm just going to give that a second to load up should be ready any second now my computer is incredibly slow I must add here you are so it's opened up and almost there reading Photoshop format okay cool you gonna open anytime soon okay cool yeah so it is literally just gonna be the text up here in black and they're all gonna be hyperlinked and everything so having said that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select the button at the back here and I am just gonna set the fill color and change it to a to white basically because I want it to be exactly the same as the background so just try and choose that um, if I remember you can just type in zero 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 no or fffff uh, to get white and that will work out just fine if you select the text as well You can also change the text color on that over here And we are just going to change that to a black to sort of get the look that we want So that is pretty much everything that we need to go over for our, our menu We're just going to quickly test this just go ahead and press the preview button to give it a go and see how it looks So you can see we've got all of our buttons at the top here if we go to the home page It's going to take us to our home page about us and contact and it stay, stays in exactly the same position regardless of the page that we're on. So like I said, I do need to go over styling this menu in a little bit more detail to sort of get it the right size, the right look and all that kind of stuff. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you share the video, smack that like button and as always guys, keep on creating and yeah, carry on. Enjoy the rest of your day guys, bye.